the Global Forest Expert Panels, in short, GFEB, interconnecting science and policy for a better understanding of the role of forests and trees to support informed decision-making. But what exactly is the role of forests and trees, globally speaking, with regard to climate change, the water cycle, food security, biodiversity, energy supply, or the well-being of people. It is of vital importance to fully understand this role to achieve the SDGs, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. To this end, GFEP provides the necessary scientific knowledge to support international negotiations related to forests and trees. GFEP convenes thematic panels to assess scientific information, produces major independent, interdisciplinary, peer-reviewed reports, and brings them to the attention of policymakers and stakeholders. The Global Forest Expert Panels um, constitute um, a new and innovative mechanism for linking the information requirements of major policy processes with available scientific knowledge. Uh, GFAP produces uh, assessment reports on issues of high concern on the policy agenda. But why is science so important for policymaking? The right decision making, it depends on the right data and the information. We rely on science to be able to design projects and to um, guide policies through science. Uh, scientific findings and traditional knowledge are, are vital uh, for policy makers to, to guide the decisions they will have to make in relation to how we will save the forests and uh, manage our resources sustainably. Why is GFAP important for decision makers? The Global Forest Expert Panels are the biggest and most effective platform we have globally to dig deep into scientific questions around forests and come up with the best and most consolidated answers. Uh, to key pressing issues on forests. Uh, you know, he just saw me talking to World Bank about trying to mainstream food trees into food systems. This wouldn't have happened if we hadn't had this amazing publication on, uh, uh, on forests for food and nutritional security. It allowed us to actually get our thoughts together and put it into this amazing international document. But how does GFAP actually work? It was something like 60 uh, scientists who contributed to the writing of the report in a voluntary capacity. It's uh, a complex process where people come together and um, each of the sections of the report is led by a coordinating lead author um, who then pulls together a team of authors who contribute to the report. Um, the report is based on existing knowledge. So what we're trying to do is assess the quality of information that's already out there typically in the reviewed and peer-reviewed literature. So trying to look at the entire spectrum of knowledge on the subject matter. Uh, so that's the process by which these reports are compiled. They're then subjected to external peer review uh, before they get uh, finally uh, signed off. So it goes through um, a series of steps to ensure that the quality of, of the work is, is credible. We published the outcomes of our chief of assessments in peer-reviewed scientific uh, reports. And in addition, we summarize the key messages of each of the assessments in policy briefs for policymakers. These publications we then bring to international political forums. Why are these assessments so important? And why do scientists like to be part of GFEB? What's really interesting about these sorts of assessments is that they're not simply an academic exercise. They are intended in the best way to try and underline good decision making and good policy and good strategies. The challenge for us is to unpack what are often quite complex technical relationships, but then to really make them understandable so that a decision making audience would be able to use them. Yeah, I've enjoyed the interdisciplinarity as well as the independence of the GFAP process, which is somewhat unusual in some of these assessment processes, um, to allow the scientists to really assess the best knowledge that's available and produce a report that they are comfortable with. I've, I've really found that as a model very, very useful. By 2018, 
GFAP published six scientific assessment reports and corresponding policy briefs on adaptation of forests and people to climate change, international forest governance, biodiversity, forest management, and Red Plus, forests, food security, and nutrition, illegal logging and related timber trade, and forests and water on a changing planet. All assessment reports received considerable media attention worldwide. It's really important when you present scientific findings about, about forests and their ecosystems uh, to policymakers and the public to make it uh, relevant to them. So put it in terms they can understand why it matters to them. GFEP publications have served as background information and briefing documents for international environmental negotiations, guidance for strategic policy development, information sources for scientists and communicators, teaching materials for universities and courses. All GFEP publications are available for free. GFEP is an initiative of the Collaborative Partnership on Forests, led by the International Union of Forest Research Organizations.